friends welcome to beyond 20s youtube channel uh, my name is nilam patel uh, i'm a solution consultant at beyond 20 in today's video we will talk about how to create a group so in order to create a group we have to have the admin privileges now let's see how to create a new or custom group so let's first talk about why do we need a group so to set up uh, groups and assign the necessary roles and users to that group we do need a group so the users in the group inherits uh, the role of the group so we don't have to have uh, assign uh, we don't have to have to assign the roles to each user separately and it is always the best practice in service now uh, that roles should always be assigned to the group rather than the individual users so also even if the users are not getting created manually manually ensure that uh, we have the roles or groups uh, granted uh, is done manually so this is how uh, we follow the best practices uh, for assigning a role or user to the group so let's see how to create a group so for that we will type groups in left navigation and under uh, user administration uh, we will see groups so let's click on that now we want to create a new group so let's click on the new okay one more thing so there are few good practices when we are uh, creating a group so uh, it is always be best practice to create one group for the admin admins and assign the admin role to that uh, particular group only the other way is we can create as many group as needed in our organization. So for example, uh, we can create groups uh, for the staff, for the location, for skill, for function. Um, even let's say for example, we have building maintenance or building security group. So we can also create one group for that. And we can assign the necessary users to those particular groups and then assign the role to, roles to those groups. So let's say in this case, uh, in today's video, we will create a group for the test users we can also create a group for the audit and compliance and we can just uh, give the read only roles uh, so when the audit comes they can utilize the application uh, with read only access so let's say let's type test user group now we can add a manager uh, to this group we can add hourly rate and all this information but uh, it is always best practice to add a description so let's say this group is created for testing purpose and let's submit and uh, we are seeing that the test user group has been created in the system so this is how we create a groups in service now now in the next video we will see how to add a user to the group so we'll see you in next video thank you